Right now, live at 5, Bill blocked after the House approves $2,000 relief checks for Americans. The Senate Majority Leader blocks the direct payments. Warning signs of child abuse. What experts want you to know? drive through COVID-19 vaccine clinic. Who can receive the vaccine and when it's open for the public? And taking flight again, the 737 MAX is back in the air after being grounded for nearly two years after multiple deadly crashes. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Kristen is off tonight. Thanks for joining us. A developing story tonight in Duluth Central Hillside, where police confirmed they're investigating a shooting that happened in an apartment building. CBS 3's Ryan Campo joins us live from the scene there. There are still a lot of unknowns tonight, Ryan, but what do we know so far? Yeah, Tony, police have been on the scene here at Lake Avenue and North Street now for a few hours. And in just the last half hour, we have learned a person was shot multiple times and is now being treated at Duluth Hospital. Right as I pulled up to scene this afternoon, ambulance drove off. Authorities did not share much about the victim or how bad their injuries are. As they have also not said anything about any potential suspects or if those involved know each other. As we said, this is an ongoing investigation crime crime scene tape still blocking off the area we hope to learn more throughout the night we'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more but for now tony i'll send things back to you all right and as we've been reporting lately duluth police have responded to more shootings in 2020 than they did all of last year this adds to those totals ryan campo live for us tonight thanks ryan Switching gears to politics, President-elect Joe Biden is just three weeks away from moving into the Oval Office, and today he continues to lay out his vision to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Members of the Senate are now locked in a battle over raising stimulus payments and handing President Trump his first veto override. Skyler Henry is on Capitol Hill with more. Today, President-elect Joe Biden addresses the ongoing COVID crisis from Delaware. I'm ready. Earlier, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris and her husband Doug Emhoff received their first dose of the Moderna coronavirus vaccine. I urge everyone, when it is your turn, get vaccinated. It's about saving your life, the life of your family members, and the life of your community. The Senate is back in session one day after the House voted to increase stimulus payments and override the president's veto of the national defense bill. Is there objection to the original? I object. Senate Democrats objected to the majority leader's motion to set up a veto override for Wednesday, likely pushing it to later this week. Soon this important legislation will be passed into law. One by one, the Democrats took the floor to demand the Senate first vote on the Cash Act, which the House has already passed. It would give $2,000 stimulus checks to millions of Americans. We should not adjourn until the Senate holds a vote on both measures. Several Senate Republicans have also voiced support for the increased payments, including Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, who tweeted, we've got the votes, let's vote today. Meanwhile, President Trump returned to his South Florida golf club Tuesday. On Twitter, he railed against weak and tired Republican leadership on the defense bill, and he repeated his call for $2,000 stimulus checks. The president will hold a rally in Georgia on Monday, one day ahead of the state's two runoff Senate races. The winners will determine the balance of power in the Senate. And despite hesitation among Senate leaders, Representative Pete Stauber voted Monday to increase the stimulus check dollar amount. Minnesota's 8th District Congressman was one of 44 House Republicans to vote in favor of the increase. Stauber says relief is needed by hundreds of thousands of Minnesota families. We have a governor that uh, shut down our state and uh, really took the livelihoods away from so many working families that uh, there are so many Minnesota families uh, that are hurting because of the, the, the wall shutdown that uh, this is needed money for them. Congressman Tom Tiffany, a Republican representing Wisconsin's 7th Congressional District, voted against increased stimulus money. Now, if the bill eventually passes through the Senate, it would then go to President Donald Trump's desk for a final signature. The last round of COVID-19 stimulus checks went out in April. That bill sent $1,200 to those who qualified. As Carleton County begins COVID-19 vaccine distribution, they're hosting a drive through vaccine clinic right now for EMS workers. CBS3's Kendall Jarbro is there, and she has the details. 
Right now I'm at the Carleton County Transportation Building where they're starting their first day of COVID-19 vaccine drive through distributions. Right over here is the table where you can see the vaccines are being set up for the people who will drive through coming in those garage doors at the back, receive the vaccine, and then continue driving. They're calling this a targeted drive through vaccine clinic, meaning it's just for EMS workers. Since there's not enough vaccine for the general public right now, Carleton County is following the CDC and Minnesota Department of Health guidelines for distribution. The first phase of vaccines go to healthcare personnel working directly with COVID-19 patients. Carleton is using the Moderna vaccine at this clinic. Just moments ago, I spoke with Jenny Barda, disease prevention and control control and immunization coordinator who says this vaccine couldn't have come at a better time. And we finally have a way out of this pandemic. So thankfully we received a vaccine just in time for the end of 2020. And I honestly could not have thought of a better Christmas present than to receive vaccine right at Christmas time. Again, this vaccine is not available to the general public right now. They are hoping that it will be made available in the coming weeks. The whole process, I'm told, takes just about five minutes. All right, thanks, Kendall. And in Wisconsin, a clinic had to discard hundreds of doses of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Officials said nearly 500 doses were kept unrefrigerated for too long at Aurora Medical Center in Grafton, which is near Milwaukee. Health officials said someone removed 50 vials from a refrigerator and never put them back overnight. Each vial contained 10 doses of the vaccine. An internal investigation found the failure was an unintended human error. Once the vaccine is thawed, it cannot be refrozen. Human error, um, which is, which is going to happen in any process. Anytime there's human involved, it, 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 things like that could happen. There have been nearly 40,000 doses of either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine administered in Wisconsin so far. Meanwhile, both Minnesota and Wisconsin launched new dashboards to track COVID vaccinations today. The data shows about 38,000 doses have been administered so far in Minnesota this year. Uh, they're mostly Pfizer's vaccines. Most of the Minnesotans vaccinated at this point are between the ages of 18 and 49. Meanwhile, in Wisconsin, they have vaccinated more than 47,000 people. Wisconsin's data does not show age ranges. However, most doses have been Pfizer. We have a link to both dashboards on our website. All right, let's check in on the weather now. Dave, the cold might be coming to an end, but it could bring some snow with it, huh? Yeah, very good chance we're getting some snow. 70% okay. chance tonight with a 40% follow-up tomorrow. And most of the region then faces a winter weather advisory. The only zones out of the advisory would be Kuchiching County, northern St. Louis, and inland portions of Lake and Cook County. Otherwise, the rest of us are looking at that good chance of snow. They'll get it up there as well. It's just the advisory zone might get a little bit more. We'll show you a chart on who's getting what coming up in just a bit. But the advisory for Minnesota and much of Wisconsin will be in effect until 6 o'clock in the morning. And then for the snow belt, maybe to noon. So taking a look at the situation, we have a Colorado low that's undercutting our region, plowing through Iowa and heading towards Illinois. But its northern edges will be bringing us a chance for, yes, most towns could pull three to six inches worth of snow. I gave you a sneak preview of how much snow we're expecting. Our Wednesday day planner says, though, it should wrap up fairly early in the morning, maybe around 8 a.m. for most of Minnesota and northern Wisconsin, but it could last until noon for the UP and the snow belt. Then we slowly clear. High temp tomorrow will be 20 degrees, but when high pressure comes in this time of year, it's often of the Arctic variety. Does that mean we're looking at a big cold snap coming now? Well, I'll let you know which way the winds will blow and the temperatures will go coming up in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, a new brew pub may soon be on its way to Washburn's downtown, plus one annual event that is not canceled in northwest Wisconsin. City by City is up next. And tonight at 6, we're continuing our coverage of the developing shooting investigation in Duluth this afternoon. Stay with CBS 3 throughout the night for the latest details. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Bakke, Anthony Matt, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. For coverage that matters most to you, tune to CBS 3. The best year-end clearance sale is at Home Furniture. Up to an extra 10% off sale prices. Plus, clearance savings store-wide while they last. And get free no-contact shipping. 10% off sale prices during the best year-end clearance sale. Now at Home Furniture. 
Mount Royal Market has express online shopping. Shop online and select your items. Your personal shopper carefully gathers everything on your list. Schedule your pickup and we deliver right to your car. Express online shopping from Mount Royal Market. Let us take care of you. You hate coming home to a dark house, and leaving lights on all night drives utility bills out of sight. You need the Bell & Howell Bionic Spotlight, the outdoor motion sensor light that turns on the instant motion is detected and turns off when the motion stops. Bionic Spotlight is solar-powered, so there's no expensive wiring or batteries to change. The instant the motion sensor detects movement, Bionic Spotlight triggers eight high-intensity LED lights that shower the entire area with light and then shuts off 30 seconds after it stops. So you can spend hundreds of dollars on an outdoor light lighting system or you can get the motion activated bionic spotlight for just $19.95 with free shipping bionic spotlight is backed by our five-year warranty but wait if you order right now you can double the offer and get a second bionic spotlight just pay a separate fee and when you call ask about the contractor's discount on the complete six light home value set here's how to order call 1-800-354-3295 or go to bionic spotlight.com that's 1-800-354-3295 or order online at bionic spotlight.com Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Get everything Christmas at Home Seasonal Concepts. Get 60% off a great selection of trees, wreaths, garland, and all your holiday decor needs. Save 60% on Christmas at Home Seasonal Concepts, inside all home furniture showrooms. Welcome back to the CBS3 News, live at 5. Here is a live look over Bayfield, Wisconsin, on this chilly, chilly Tuesday evening. Dave Anderson will have your full weather forecast and snow totals in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a quick look around the region. An annual event will still go on next month in Cable, plus a new brew pub could soon be coming to Washburn. That and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. In Washburn, an update to a story we brought you Monday. Last night, the Washburn City Council has accepted a proposal to turn the broke-down Palace building into a brew pub. This comes after two proposals were on the table. The other would have turned it into an apartment complex. The council hopes the pub will spur further development in the downtown area. Next up, we're heading to Cable, Wisconsin, where the North End Ski Club plans to move forward with the Snowshoe Classic next month. The race is set to take place on January 12th. Competitors will choose between a 5K and a 10K. The race is open to the public, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there will be no aid stations, and racers are encouraged to bring their own water and snacks. We will have the link to register on our website. Finally, we'll finish off in Duluth, where a group of protesters gathered outside the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office Monday to demand answers in the death of 19-year-old Estevan Ilioff. He was shot by deputies after allegedly fleeing them in early December. In total, about 20 people gathered in the freezing cold to protest. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. Still to come, Boeing 737s are once again taking to the skies. Well, we started at 10 below this morning. Now we get some snow tonight. Often another cold snap comes on the heels of a low pressure system. Is that going to happen to us yet again? Well, we dodge the chill down. I'll show you which way that's going with our seven-day forecast in just a few more minutes. They're live. They're local. Watch the CBS 3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Mack tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. Fire threatens everything in its path. When it threatens our communities, we respond, and we bring the fight to the front line. Find out more about serving your community part-time by visiting NationalGuard.com. Get out and experience the great outdoors this winter with gear from your friends at Continental Ski and Bike. Continental has Alpine, Nordic, and fat biking gear for the whole family. Looking to tune your current gear? 
Let Continental Technicians tune up your skis for your next adventure. Their price, $30,000. Your price, $20. Can you tell the difference? Even expert jewelers have a difficult time distinguishing the Diamond Z4CZ from Mine Diamonds because of their similarity. This exquisite ring features a flawless simulated diamond center stone of two and three quarter carats surrounded by over one and a quarter carats of round and tapered flawless baguettes. One jewelry industry professional marveled at their beauty and brilliance. It's exceedingly rare to see such flawless stones. He's right. Comparable solitaires made of diamonds can cost up to $30,000. Your price through this special invitation will be only $20. And for a limited time, you can also receive this beautiful band with 1.92 carats of diamond Z4s. You get both CZ rings totaling over an astounding 6 carats for $20. So call or click now. Call 1-800-577-5801 to get your Diamond Z4. Call now or go to DiamondZ4.com. So call 1-800-577-5801. Call now. For coverage that matters most to you, tune to CBS3. Bon Duluth Casino welcomes you back. COVID safety protocols are in place. To stay up to date with the news and weather that impacts you and your community, continue watching CBS 3. Season 2 is the here. The Kelly Clarkson guys. Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS 3. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weather Max forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Colorado low is working its way through the upper Midwest. And we'll be on the northern fringes, and so our snow will get some, but it won't be as bad as farther to the south. At this hour, our road conditions are still pretty good for the most part, though folks in northern Wisconsin along Highway 2 are still trying to catch up after last week's blizzard. This go-around isn't going to be a blizzard, but three to six inches of fresh snow is possible for many towns in our region, and those that don't get that could go two to four. I'll show you that map in a little more detail in just a bit, but right now we take a live look at what's going on towards Ashland, where, of course, last week's blizzard has left some decent snow piles around town, and for winter sports fans, that's a good deal. And with more snow coming our way, an even better deal, at least for the winter sports fans. For the rest of us who don't like snow shoveling that much, it's a bit of a burden to bear. Right now at the airport in Duluth, numbers include 13 for a temperature, 7 74% for the relative humidity with an east wind going 5 miles per hour. That may become a little more southeasterly tonight and could gust to 15. Air pressure is on the higher side right now at 30.2 inches of mercury. But with that Colorado low in range, those numbers will go down before increasing tomorrow as high pressure takes over on the rapidly departing low. Current temps, looking at mid-teens in the Upper Peninsula and a range of about 14 to 18 degrees here in northwestern Wisconsin. The Minnesota numbers are going for about 12 to maybe 19 degrees for that part of the region. Overnight low temps tomorrow morning, a lot warmer than this morning. They should be around 15 to 20 above. And then after that, when the higher pressure takes over, it won't be Arctic high pressure. We're not going to have a big Arctic blast after this low pressure system. It's going to be pretty close to normal, which is around 20 degrees. Well, our Doppler map shows that from the southwest, the snow is starting to build into our area. And bottom line is around 6 o'clock, most of our area should see the onset of this snow, lightly but persistently falling across our region. And for Minnesota and Wisconsin, could last until about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe towards noon for the Upper Peninsula and the snow belt. And when it decides to go, snow totals could look like this. Northern Minnesota from the Iron Ranges to the border, perhaps 2 to 4 inches. For the rest of us, we're eyeing up about three to six. That's why we have a winter weather advisory rather than a straight up winter storm warning because three to six inches, those are levels that we can handle around here. We're used to that, not like the uh, eight to 12 some towns got last week. So tomorrow our low pressure system will move its way to the east. Higher pressure builds in from the west rather than the north. It'll be sunny and reasonably mild. I say reasonably mild because highs will be near normal rather than below normal. So we'll call that mild by our Northland standards for this time of year. Tonight in Minnesota, mild as well. Low temps in Minnesota should go from about 12 to 20 degrees with a 70% chance for the snow crossing your doorstep. Wisconsin, Michigan gets a 20% chance as well with lows there running 15 to 20. South-southwest wind will go 5 to 15 miles per hour there. 
And then for tomorrow, daytime high temps in Wisconsin, Michigan should run 22 to 25, which is a little warmer than normal. 30% chance for that morning snow continuing upwards of the noon hour for the UP at least. And a 40% chance it'll stick around in Minnesota till about 8 a.m. Tomorrow's high temps, 18 to 25 degrees. And as that higher pressure cell takes over, by Thursday we go back to partly cloudy, but we won't go below zero. We'll have a high near 20 then a little cloudier on Friday, 23. For the weekend, a bit of sunshine to start the new year. Highs from 22 to 27. Our next snow chance, that one looks to be coming around on Monday. A 30% chance for indeterminate amounts of snow right okay. now. You know, last week when this one started to come across, some models went big, some went little. Sure. Looks like we're splitting the difference yeah. with a moderate snowfall. Okay. Perhaps the same deal will happen with yeah. that Monday shot. Finally, the snow lovers get a little bit of a payoff this winter. It took a long time, yeah. but I guess it's here, huh? I think my old Yamaha Enticer needs to be started <laughs> up and finally taken for a run. I'll uh, let you let me borrow it, Dave. Okay, maybe I'll do that if I right. run, Tony. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> Well, this morning, passengers left Miami for the first official U.S. flight on a 737 MAX jet in two years. The plane was grounded in March of 2019 after two deadly crashes overseas, which killed 346 people. Chris Van Cleve got a look at the design changes and shows us why some families of crash victims want the MAX to stay on the ground. The 737 MAX is grounded no more. American Airlines Flight 718 is the nation's first regularly scheduled MAX flight to take off since March 2019. Brazilian carrier Gol became the first airline in the world to resume passenger service earlier this month. American plans to start slow with just one trip a day from Miami to New York and back. MAX flights will be identified at booking and passengers can change to a different aircraft without a fee. We took a demo flight on the MAX earlier this month. Slowly gives people more flexibility if they don't want to fly it, and then those that do, they have an opportunity to go fly the airplane. The return to service comes after a lengthy review by aviation regulators from around the world that mandated a series of design changes, software updates, and additional pilot training. Weeks before the first passenger flight, work has been going on almost around the clock here at American Airlines Maintenance Facility in Tulsa. This is where all of the upgrades and the maintenance work on the 737 MAX is happening to get the plane back in the air. It is thousands of man hours per airplane. I personally feel safe about it. My family's flown on the airplane. They'll fly on it again in the next couple of weeks, and we're really excited to be on board again. But not everyone is excited about the MAX taking off. A flyer's rights group sued trying to stop the ungrounding. And families of people killed in the two MAX crashes remain unconvinced it's safe. It's just really hard. Brittany Riffle was seven months pregnant when her husband Melvin and his brother died in the crash of Ethiopian Flight 302. You just pray that the plane is safe and that this isn't going to happen to another family. It's, it's a pretty horrific thing to go through constantly. With the nation watching, the MAX will fly first for American and next year Alaska, Southwest and United. Well, now it's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets. Today's pet comes to us from Precious Paws Humane Society of Chisholm. Let us reintroduce you to Tommy. We have featured him on the pet of the day before. Right now, what Tommy really needs is a foster home since his current foster mom can no longer take care of him. Tommy is an 11-year-old kitty who requires a little special attention but is very mellow and friendly. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt or foster Tommy, then you can call the number on your screen. Still to come on Live at 5, how, how child abuse is becoming a growing problem during the pandemic. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> they are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, this new year, you can celebrate knowing you look your best with Plexiderm. Lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video that the viewers can watch while you and I talk. And you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging. And all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. And I did this to my father. 
father. We were at home and we were screaming. Four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me. They really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It feels great. Looks even better. I'm Neela. I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself. How it makes you feel inside is amazing. Plexiderm, seriously, it fixes all that. It makes you feel as good outside as you do inside. Honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of pro's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it targets all those problem areas. So this would be a daily thing or just when you want to, like, get rid of the bags? And yeah, you would it absolutely could be a daily thing. You have high school reunions. You have events you want to go to. You want to look years younger. This is it. This new year is the best time to get Plexiderm for only $14.95. And see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's the season for stream and the perfect time to power up all your devices with extreme internet. Call today and save with prices as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Go dashing through your shows with amazing speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Powerful in-home Wi-Fi and 99.99% network reliability. Enjoy the gift of high-speed entertainment for as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of news no matter what happens in news weather is always constant weather is always changing as well so it's still an important role as the meteorologist to kind of still stay grounded and to kind of just know that role and what to take and kind of just make sure you're delivering what's the most important for your viewers but then also I like to touch base on the national things all of those news stories also tie in with weather stories because they do go kind of hand in hand watch Jenna and Caitlin in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. watch Jeopardy at 4 30 followed by CBS 3 live at 5 on live local CBS 3. Experts are saying child abuse remains a public health crisis, perhaps even more so now with children learning at home. But there are some red flags you can look out for and possibly save a life. There are many forms of child abuse, emotional, physical, sexual abuse, and neglect. Experts say red flags can look different depending on how old the child is, under the age of four, you might look for bruising on the ears, torso, or neck. If your child is able to talk, asking them open-ended questions is also a good starting point. What did you do today at so-and-so's house? And, you know, how did you feel when you were there today? Tell me something really good that happened. Is there anything that happened that you didn't like today? And to just offer that kind of open-ended dialogue. If you or someone you know is experiencing abuse, log on to our website for contact information. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear from a Duluth mom who says she never saw any red flags before her son died and her fiancé was charged with murder. Opponents of the Line 3 pipeline are filing a lawsuit to stop work on the project. Two Minnesota Ojibwe bands and two environmental groups asked a federal court to halt construction in Minnesota. They're alleging that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers failed to address several environmental issues when it approved a water quality permit. Enbridge is replacing the aging pipeline. We'll be right back after the break. Change the future of medicine from the convenience of home. Join the All of Us Research Program to help improve health research and speed up medical breakthroughs. Visit EssentiaHealth.org slash All of Us to learn more. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. I have something for you. I have something for you, too. It's the GMC season to upgrade. Now everyone can get GM employee pricing on most GMC models. Use it to get over 10,000 total value on this 2021 Sierra Denali. Visit your Lake Country GMC dealer. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Van Dielen, Chief Medical Officer at St. Luke's. While the holidays might feel a little different this year, they can be just as magical. 
Let's take this time to enjoy the small things that make this season so special and maybe even discover some new traditions. Thank you for everything you've done and continue to do to keep our community safe. From all of us at St. Luke's, have a safe, happy, and healthy holiday season. For coverage that matters most to you, tune to CBS3. Warning signs of child abuse. What experts want you to know. Enough snow could fall. Cause a winter weather advisory. We'll talk about it. Tonight at 6 on Live Local CBS3. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's check in with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt this morning. And the below average trend Thanks does so much for joining us. So wake up with us starting at 5 a.m. Watch Caitlin and Jenna in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. on CBS3. Back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Let's recap our top story tonight and take a peek at what's coming up tonight at 6. A developing story. Duluth police confirmed they're investigating a shooting that happened in an apartment building. Authorities have not shared much about the victim or how bad their injuries are. They also have not said anything about any potential suspects or if those involved knew each other. As we said, this is an ongoing investigation. Stay with CBS 3 for the latest. And tonight at 6, child advocates are speaking out after a 30-year-old Duluth man was charged in the death of his fiancé's 3-year-old son. Now let's get a quick last look at the weather. Dave, has that snow arrived yet? Not quite in our okay. area, but in another hour or so, it should start to fall. Okay. Probably lightly, but persistently. And so that's why I think most towns by tomorrow morning could have 3 to 6 inches of fresh stuff to play with and uh, snow blow and shovel and all that stuff. 70% chance it'll happen tonight. 40% chance it'll wind down tomorrow morning. Then after that, it doesn't cool down, but it will clear up through the New Year weekend. Thanks, Dave. That's your news at 5. The evening news is next. We'll see you at 6.